guys, how are you? I'm Sharbria Shai and welcome back to Max Out Girl. So today I am going to talk about the art of saying no. Woo, child. Okay, let's talk about it. So I think this is so important because I'm such a person that feels like we need to protect our peace. That's part of self-love, in my opinion. And by this week being our self-love empowerment on this Friday, I really kind of wanted to talk about just the art of saying no, which is actually a, one of my tips in my new ebook, The Self-Love Manual. So make sure you check that out at shine.com. But okay, we'll talk about that later. So the art of saying no, it is so important to be able to have the courage to be able to say no and not to feel guilty or not to feel like you're pressured to do whatever someone wants you to do. And I feel like this can go in so many different categories. Categories. Now, I'm not talking about selfishness, being a selfish person, always saying no, never helping out anybody, never having anybody's back, never ever changing your schedule around to help someone that's really in need. Not what I'm talking about. However, there are some boundaries. We have to set some boundaries in our lives because people sometimes, not even intentionally, may wear you out, right? I mean, for example, I knew this person who, you know, they were in their church. They always, you know, volunteer. They always said yes. So people, you know, felt like, well, they love to volunteer. So they constantly call them all the time, crazy times of night, on the weekends, in the midst of the moment where they needed them, like within that hour. And because that person always said yes, but they started to feel worn out and they started to feel like, okay, I don't have a life now. I'm always saying yes. And then they started to feel guilty about not saying no. And then somebody told them, you know what? You might just need to say no sometimes because when you always say yes, it's not always that these people want to use you, but you're reliable. So they're always going to call on you and for your mental health, right? For your peace of mind, for you to set boundaries to even have a life, you just have to say no sometimes. Don't always be available to people. And it could be on your job where you're always the one saying yes to the overtime. And hey, sis, I get it. Maybe you need the overtime. It is nothing wrong with that. However, Sometimes, you know, if you feel worn out or you just can't do it, don't feel guilty. It is your right to be able to say no in certain circumstances and situations. And for me, just being real, um, I used to feel guilty about saying no. I used to feel guilty like, man, they're going to think I'm shady or they're going to think I'm selfish or they're going to think I'm not there for them. You know, however, there are some times in life where it is okay and not just okay, but it is imperative that you say no. For example, if you know that you need to spend time with your spouse or with your family or with your children and you're constantly putting work above it or constantly putting volunteering above it or constantly putting your friends above them and you feel guilty like a pool, like, oh man, she wants me to hang out or he wants me to hang out, but you know, I'm supposed to spend time with my kids or you know, my husband asked me to go to this game with him. Then you need to just say no, then you can't feel guilty. And I had to learn that when I first got married because I would feel so bad because, hey, I loved hanging out with my friends and doing, you know, um, brunch days and going out for coffee and just going to shows with my girls. However, when I got married, you know, especially in those first few years, it's like a different, for me, it was a different season. And I had to learn how to adjust to not always going out with my friends and hanging with my husband. And of course I wanted to hang with my husband, of course, but I kind of felt guilty sometimes or bad when I had to say no to my friends. Cause y'all was saying no a lot, but we just had so much going on. Like, you know, when you first get married, the two becoming one, learning each other's habits, you know, just um, hanging out with each other, learning what each other likes and dislikes and just setting those boundaries for your marriage is so important. And so I had to learn that it's okay to say no. And my husband was like, you're a grown woman. You really don't owe anybody an explanation and no, it's a full sentence. And of course I wouldn't be rude to my friends like no, but it is okay to be like, you know, I'm sorry, I can't this time or maybe next time or you know what, I'm gonna be busy for the next few months. Let's plan something, you know, and whatever, right? And so it is so important to just be okay with it especially when it's like relationships that they're not helping you grow, they're toxic or they're leeches in your life where just taking, taking, taking and you're giving, giving, giving and you feel depleted and drained every time you leave this friend or this person, then it is definitely a no, right? You need to probably separate yourself from them. But again, since don't feel guilty about saying no or I can't and don't feel like you have to explain yourself. I used to send a paragraph of a text message or a paragraph of a voice message or a paragraph of a conversation trying to explain why I couldn't do something to appease the other person when in actuality, why am I doing that? That could be also become people pleasing, worrying about what people think about you. 
if you're going to live the life that God has called you to live, if you're going to be a max out girl, meaning maximizing your potential in every area of your life, honey, you can't worry about what people think about you. Again, I'm not talking about the selfish, narcissistic type of self-love or type of protecting your peace, but I'm talking about the healthy, well-needed, well-deserved boundaries that you need to set for your life to make sure that you are healthy and whole and being about the stuff that you need to be about your goals your dreams the purpose that god has for you if you're a wife if you're a mother whatever it is a caretaker focusing on those things that's a priority to your life because people will always find something for you to do right i remember being single people always assume single people got so much time on their hands and i'm going to ask you to do it sometimes especially in church i'm going to ask you to do it i'm going to ask you to do it I was like, you know, I can't do everything. And by the time I got to that point, I did feel guilty, but I was drained. So I was always doing stuff, always saying yes, always at the last minute, always just reliable, but I was too accessible. Again, if God leads you to do something, it's okay. However, sometimes it's okay to back off and say, you know what? This is draining me or this is wearing me out because people are very good at having, wearing you out, helping them, you helping them, excuse me, fulfill God's purpose for their life when God is telling you to do something different. If you're good at something, and I had to learn this, you know, I'm good at a lot of different things. So people will pull on me for a lot of different things. But God will show me like, this isn't the season for that. I'm, I want you to focus on this. You have to say no to that. And sometimes it's hard when we like to do certain things, um, when we have to say no. But the Lord will show you like, this isn't the season for that. You have to stay laser focused on your goals, your dreams, or whatever it is he's calling you to be focused on in this season of your life. So sis. Learn to say no, not to feel guilty about it. Again, you don't have to be mean about it, but also realize you don't have to give an explanation either. It's okay to say, you know what? Nope, can't do it this time. And that's it. No, I can't. And that's it. Sometimes people want details. Sometimes you got those pushy people like, well, why? Can't you work this around? Can't you change your schedule? Sorry, I cannot. And that's okay. Shut it down if you need to, because it's your life, it's your future, and it's your peace of mind, girl. It is your boundaries that you need to set to have a whole, healthy, peaceful, joyful life. And, and I'll let you know, I tell you, like, this is so important because, again, I found myself just, like, feeling so bad because I said no to people. So I was always just doing stuff, doing stuff, doing stuff. And then I look back and, like, wait, I had ABC as goals in my life. I've done none of that, but I've done all of this over here for them. I've done none of the stuff God's told me to do. Time out for that, sis. Time to walk in purpose. Time to max out your life. Time to be about your business. Again, not selfishness, but setting those healthy boundaries of saying no. So I just wanted to hop on here just to encourage you, like, say no. It's art. Learn it. Full sentence. No, sorry, can't, busy, whatever. And it is okay because at the end of the day, it's your life. It's your future, it's your peace, and you're responsible for that, not others. And again, it may not always be them intentionally trying to, you know, throw stuff on you or make you feel guilty, but the enemy of our souls does a great job of making us feel guilty or making us feel bad about something we shouldn't. So again, I just hope this helped you because I feel like it's such an important topic to protect our peace. I believe that say the art of saying no is a part of self-love. And again, I'm on fire about self-love because our self-love empowerment is this Friday. Whoop, whoop. And again, you don't want to miss it because it is going to be an amazing event. Like, where can you, for $25, go somewhere, not only get a panel of experts that are going to be talking about mental health, self-love, self-care, and healthy relationships, but also get amazing food, cute picture opportunities, and which is included in the price, also a back massage, hand massage, also a facial and a makeup artist. Where are you going to get that? And not only, you know, to mention shopping opportunities and just a fun time. So you want to come out. It is going to be an amazing time this Friday, May 19th, 630 to 830. I'm sorry, 630 actually to 930 on Friday. So go to sharpreashine.com, go to events and go ahead and click on that self-love empowerment because it is going to be a like a ball. I love themed events. It is actually a pajama um panel pj and pamper session so wear your pajamas or if you don't have any wear something casual but i'm sure girl you got some pajamas it can be casual pjs or dressy as you want to be so come out it is going to be so much fun i'm so excited to be hosting this event again friday you do not want to miss it and because you're listening to this podcast there is a ten dollar offer 
use all caps L-O-V-E, the number 10. That's all caps L-O-V-E, the number 10 for $10 off. So you definitely are going to like be able to come for that. Come on, because that is a great deal. You don't want to miss it. Like, I love it. We're going to have a blast. So again, be looking out for the self-love manual by me, my ebook. That's new. I'm so excited to give you tips and just encourage you to love yourself more and to love your life more, to be able to max out your life. You know my motto, you ain't no damn throwing the stress or refuse to settle for less than God's best. So as you know, you can follow me at Sharbria Shine at Max Out Girl. Go ahead and make sure you're uh, subscribing to this YouTube channel. Share this, uh, click your notifications on so you don't miss anything. These are every Monday morning, a new podcast episode. Also, if you want to hear some earlier episodes when I wasn't on video, but you're just hearing me speak, go to any podcast platform and go to Max Out Girl because I have several earlier years where we did this podcast. So make sure you check that out as well and subscribe to that. But again, as always, I hope I said something and encouraged, inspired, and elevated your thinking. And always remember to Max Out Girl. This is Sharbria Shine. Talk to you next time. Bye.